Hey everybody, today is day 10 of Hammer and Chisel. Today is your choice of chisel, chisel agility or master's cardio and optional 15 minute glute chisel. So um, chisel agility was about 37 minutes and master's cardio is about 18. We didn't have a whole lot of time this morning, it's Saturday morning. Um, so we went with the master's cardio today instead of the chisel agility. Um, so keep that in mind, you have that option if you're short on time, um, but definitely get in your workout. Today uh, is Saturday for me, so I think it's really important to always get in those weekend workouts. Um, for me at least, it's really easy to get off track on the weekends because Monday, um, I think going to work or having work to do Monday through Friday kind of keeps you on track. Um, and then the weekends you tend to go out and do things, run errands, um, see family or friends or whatever, and then you eat unhealthy or you're tempted to or have a few drinks you're tempted to sleep in because you don't have to get up for work so just make sure that you get in your workout 18 minutes everybody's got 18 minutes to get in that workout so make sure you do that guys so uh, master's cardio is a pretty awesome workout um, um, I think that <laughs> the two of them are a little goofy together but uh, autumn and Saji or however you say his name I'm not sure how to say his name but um, it was still a really good workout. Um, I'm looking forward to doing chisel agility though and checking that out because I haven't done that workout yet. Uh, I think it's on my schedule for Tuesday. In a few days I have it so I'll check that out and let you know what I think. Um, then the, other only, the only other thing I wanted to share with you is that on Saturdays and Sundays I still follow my meal plan but I let myself have a treat. So on Saturdays I make protein cookies and I only make enough for me to have a serving and my husband to have a serving. And tomorrow I'll tell you um, about pancake Sundays, which I like to do for Sundays. But even though I'm having these little treats, I'm still counting the containers that they would go towards so that I'm not overdoing it on carbs or I'm not overdoing it on fruit or whatever. So that's really important when you're having a treat or you're planning. Let's say you guys are going out to dinner tonight. Plan what you're gonna have. What you're going to have. Figure out where you're gonna go. Get online. Check out the menu and pick out what you're going to eat. This way, when you get to the restaurant, you already know what you're going to have for dinner. Order before anybody else because when other people order, you might be tempted to change your order to something a little less healthy. Uh, eat or, um, when your food comes. Get a to-go box and right away put half of it in the to-go box for lunch the next day so that you're not eating all those calories at one meal. And have water or unsweetened tea. There's so many calories and sugar in those sodas and those other drinks. Like uh, I used to love like uh, strawberry lemonades. Oh my gosh, but I would drink like five of them, but they're just loaded with sugar and so many calories. So have a plan if you're going to go out and do something today or if you're running errands, pack something, pack a snack, because we make decisions better when we're not hungry. So if you get out there and you're grocery shopping and you're starving, you're gonna you're gonna slip most likely because you're really really hungry and you're desperate and you're gonna go with whatever sounds good and what cravings you have. So plan ahead so that you don't get into that situation. So my protein cookies, the recipe is this is just for two servings for two people or one serving for two people. That's a fourth cup of nut butter. I use um, natural almond butter, a fourth cup of oats, an eighth cup of pure honey. Check your honey labels because a lot of times they have corn syrup in them. And a fourth cup of vanilla Shakeology or chocolate Shakeology or your favorite protein powder, whatever that is. So you just stir all that up in a bowl. Get a little coconut oil on your hands because it's sticky and then form them into balls and then flatten them out a little bit into a cookie shape. You can put them in the fridge and they'll go like 15 minutes and they'll harden up a little bit. Um, those are a really nice treat. They taste really good and they have protein in them so that they're going to be satisfying also because they have oats. But just make sure that you're counting that towards your uh, teaspoons, your, your yellow container, your red container, and you're going to be a little over, but um, not compared to if you had actual cookies. So enjoy your weekend. Like I said, make sure you get those workouts in and plan ahead when you're doing stuff over the weekend. Have a great one. Bye.